Welcome, Minneapolis Junior High School fans, senior high school fans, back to Sacred Heart Gymnasium here on December 20th, 2019, as the Lions are ready to take on the host boys of uh, Sacred Heart here tonight to close out the pre-Christmas session of the uh, basketball season. Your Minneapolis Lions are number eight overall in Class 3A. And I believe the Knights are number nine in 2A, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, Sacred Heart is 4-1 and one overall on the season. They lost to Heston early on by five points in an away game. And uh, they beat Russell for their first NCAA victory last Tuesday night by a score of 86-53 to 53 here at, at home. Your Minneapolis Lions are 5-0 and overall and 2-0 and in the NCAA, having beaten Russell in the earliest game of the year and then last Tuesday over Ellsworth. Uh, com some comparisons, uh, offensive scoring versus what they're giving up to opponents from Sacred Heart. Uh, they're averaging 66 points scored and giving up an average of 43 for a plus 23-point advantage for the Knights. Minneapolis, conversely, is scoring 79.2 and giving up an average of 42.6. So we have a plus 36.6 uh, scoring average plus on our cars good. This is the 105th game in the series dating back to 1925. Sacred Heart leads the series 79 to 25. Jason, yikes! Uh, they have won the last eight games in a row. 15 of the last 16. So the, the Knights have always dominated this series. Minneapolis last won on February 6, 2015 at home by a score of 53 to 48, uh, which broke a uh, little bit of a streak for the Knights then, and uh, they went on a big streak after that in the NCAA like for four years without losing. Yeah. Last year, Minneapolis lost the last super second game to Sacred Heart here in Salina by a score of 70 to 66, being in the, the closest in the last straight eight losses of Minneapolis to the Knights. The Knights have won four successive league championships, 2015 when we beat them last, 2016, 17, and 18. Last year, Beloit knocked them off twice uh, to put them uh, in second place for the first time in, in several seasons. Minneapolis has matched that output four successive championships in the league back in 2003 and 2006. So we hope to uh, give them another defeat tonight here in Salina. I think it could be a very close game, JC. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when you take a look at the schedule and what's been going on for Minneapolis boys, this is, I think, by far their toughest test to oh, yeah. right here. Uh, you know, the uh, Sacred Heart's going to get out and defend you. They're, they're going to push you on hard. Uh, you know, Coach Gormley does a nice job. They do a lot of good fundamental things. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough task for the Lions here. But uh, yeah, it's kind of funny that the Lions, you mentioned their point, uh, uh, their points per game, you know, this funny you score 70 points on Tuesday and your average goes down by a few points. Yeah. Not, a, not a lot of teams have that happen when they put up 70. Well, we have not averaged this kind of point production in like forever. I yeah. have that exact stat. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and it's not so much because of a lot of three-point shooting. We have some yeah. three-point shooting. That's yeah. successful. A lot of it has been from defensive pressure, yeah. getting the ball and taking it to the right. The yeah, ball. yeah, creating offense out of great defense and then using our length and our depth and, and getting out, getting layups, getting and ones. And, and uh, yeah, it was fun to watch. And then, like, I, like I said on the radio before, you know, sit down and buckle up because you're in for a ride. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> well, Mike Perry couldn't be with us tonight due to some family commitments. We appreciate Jason Cozart stepping in and taking Mike's place. That way I don't have to get too frustrated up here doing all this myself. But, uh, so this, as Jason just said, buckle and hang on. This is going to be potential of being quite the game tonight. Yes, yes it does. It, yeah.
would like everyone to remember Rule 52, which deals with the hardest sportsmanship. By the way, the last time Minneapolis has won in Salina is way back in 2011. Yeah, that's uh, that's when I was helping Coach Shoop out. Mm -hmm. I like, vaguely remember that as many moons ago. Caden Griffin starting from Minneapolis. And Jacob Gormley for the Knights. 6'3 forward junior. Jonah Osherman, our effective low post player. Yep. Senior. Number 10, a 6'4", senior forward, Ethan Buckner. 16, Ethan Buckner. Senior. And he'll, he's a pretty athletic kid. Going to have to deal with him on the rebounds and the inside. Daniel Watson gets a turn tonight at starting. Junior. And number 12 for the Knights, Tate Herrenbrook, a big, big time shooter for the Knights. Yeah, I think by far their best outside threat. Nolan White from Minneapolis. Spencer Davis, a very effective post player. Mark Prendergast, 6'1", senior. I didn't catch who their other starter was. Uh, I believe it's Gormley, Buckner, Heronbrook, Gilliland, and oh, Prendergast. Gilliland, Gilliland. Yeah, yeah look for, hopefully look for Spencer Davidson to have another great night tonight. I thought the other night on Tuesday when he was on the floor it was a big difference. Uh, as far as the, the way that the game swung against Ellsworth, uh, you, you could definitely tell a difference when he got on floor and, and his dribble penetration off the, di off the drive and, and uh, everything that he created on the inside. Minneapolis has four uh, starters out there tonight averaging double figures. Caden Griffith, 15.4. Excuse me, three players. Nolan White averaging 13.8. Spencer Davidson, 14.6. The other two guys aren't far behind. Jonah Oshman, 9.2 points a game. Yeah. Daniel Watson, 8.6. Yeah, and, and, and Nolan shot the ball well on the year, so hopefully that continues here tonight. The Lions with the score here. Nolan White with the, with the offensive rebound and the putback there. Lines in their man to man. There's Heron Brook on the drive, turning the corner and, and uh, making the shot in the lane. Hey, it's, uh, it's, oh! Couldn't get the offensive board conversion there. Yeah, Davidson on the on the rebounds, but. Uh, and on the inside, but couldn't quite get it to go. Watson with his first foul. Yeah. Prendergast at the line for the Knights. <laughs> kind of an unorthodox shot, but it went. Second one up and good as well. And Griffin bringing the ball up the floor. Gormley on defense. So whips it around to White. Go with the uh, clears the boards. Six unanswered points here for the Knights. Yep. Good drive by Watson there to, to change direction and, and draw the foul on uh, on 22, Gillen. 
So the junior, Daniel Watson, at the line. Knocks down the first one. And the second. Okay. Buckner bringing it up, kicks it out to Gormley. Now down to Prendergast. Good, good rebound there by Davidson on the back side, but throws it away. Here comes Gillen. Spins out. Watson on the rebound. Back to Osherman. Griffin on the drive. Ah, they're out of control. That, if, if there's any kind of bugaboo for Griffin, that's kind of been, he's an aggressive kid, but uh, he does kind of tend to go in spurts as far as turning the ball over, but you don't want to take his aggressiveness away, that's for sure. Derek Friel and John Nelson in for the Lions. Lions with a full court man to man. White against Heronbrook out front. Gillen on the baseline. Back out to Heronbrook. Yep, a few too many steps. Richards. Mason Richards, 6'1 junior in for the Knights. Griffin bring it up. Say your heart in a man to man still. Freel looking for the high low there to, to Davidson, trying to dump it down, but that was covered. So uh, a good good drive by Freel to put it on the deck and, and make something happen there and get to the free throw line. Buckner with his first foul. Derek, no good on the uh, on the first free throw. Two team fouls for the Knights. Oh, tough. Yeah, Derek Friel, rare 0 for two at the line right there. Right. And against the pressure, you'd think the Knights they they wanted a number 12's hands as much as possible, Heronbrook. There we go. One and done for the Knights on the three. Up to Nelson. Good shot by Nelson there along the baseline. Way to push it by the Lions. Now tied at six. Brander Gas to Richards. Good poke out there by, by White. Davidson looking up to Griffin. Wide open. Layup. Up. Eight to six now. Lions up. Uh, they're going to clear out, let Heronbrook bring it up against Friel. Uh, blocking foul called on Davidson. Yeah, good drive there by Prendergast. It's kept in, and but, uh, the referee the official didn't quite see it that way and, and got him for the blocking foul. Davidson and Griffin sit down. Watson and Osherman come back in. Osherman clears the boards. Okay, up to Friel. Friel looking down to Nelson right there. Watson there wide open for three up top. Jacob Nelson, uh, John Nelson knocks that away from Buckner, but it's out of bounds to the Knights. One thing about Minneapolis, even when you're, you think you've got a clear rebound right there, you, they get a hand in there and poke it. It gets rather frustrating after a while, they're poking at that ball. Up to Gormley, Gormley with the drive, misses the layup, but gets the board down to Buckner. But Minneapolis clears it, Osherman up to White. Right to Friel. A little out of control there by the, the Lions right there. So uh, now the, the Knights clear it and bring it up with Heronbrook. 
Harrenbrook on the drive. Yeah. Did you saw. There it is. I think the second referee was going to call a foul under the basket, but yeah. the other outside ref saw the traveling yeah. up front. That's the thing with that Euro step. A lot of a lot of referees they, they think that you know by far that it's it's always a travel, but you know some referees they don't, and <laughs> it just kind of depends on who you get that night. Official Davidson and Griffin in for the Lions. Griffin bringing it up against Gormley here, looking over to Osherman, down to Watson. Watson with the baseline drive, nice, nice. Nice finish, nice tough finish there. I believe Buckner was coming across, but Watson able to finish. Griffin with a knock away on that run out attempt. The Knights now getting it down, bringing it in bounds underneath their own basket here. And the Buckner rises up, but shoots an air ball. Down to Osherman. Oh. He's fouled. Yeah, that's fouled by Buckner, it looked like. I think that's his first. Caught Jonah just maybe a little bit too far underneath the basket. Yeah, that's second on Buckner, so that's a that's a big one that's right there. Significant. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that's that's their size inside. Third team foul on the Knights. Osherman at the stripe here. Makes the first one. And Buckner sits on the bench. Nathan right. Richards comes in, 6-1, junior. Another thing has been a plus for the Lions here, free throw shooting. I think the goal oh. there has been what, about 65%. Oh, so just wonder. astounding. Yeah. A couple guys in the 80 percentile. Yeah. Uh, Davidson almost with a steal up top. Gets, gets through there, gets to Prendergast, who goes up but doesn't make it. And it's going to stay with Sager Hart. Eleven to eight, Minneapolis. Three oh one left. Well, Herrenbrook looking for the lob to Gilliland. Catches it in the lane. Back out to Herrenbrook for the three. Not there. Watson, nice play there. Watson whipping around his back, finding Griffin. Oh, another foul on the Knights right there. Gilliland now picking up the foul. Pichel in for Watson. Excuse me. Friel in for Watson. Okay. Minneapolis triggering her on the no basket. Looking for the lob play to Oshman. Catches, goes up, sticks with it. Back out to Davidson for three. Not quite there. But Minneapolis doing a good job being on the offensive boards. You know, that's, that's, all, that's been a theme all year, too. Just relentless on the offensive rebounds, creating more and more opportunities on offense. Minneapolis in a box set. Davidson wide open. Ah, can't convert, though. And either he or Oshman's on the back. I don't yep. know which. Oshman. That was first. Watson give, give an Osherman a breather. Team's third. Gormley now going to bring it up against Watson here. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of elbow there. Richards from corner for three. Too strong. Herrenbrook with the board. Davidson clears the boards now. Out to Watson. And you saw an adjustment there on that last last possession. They would put Gormley at the point and moved Herrenbrook off there to, to maybe open up some shooting opportunities for him. Whew, we were lucky there. Yeah. Not so much there. <laughs> Herrenbrook with the steal to Prendergast. Yeah, he yeah, didn't, quite, didn't quite get the step in there. Count the bucket. Prendergast with the with an and one opportunity. Number 
And that'd be the second foul on Watson. 149 in the first quarter left. 11 10 Minneapolis. Nice job, Daniel. Prendergast has been to the free throw line quite a bit already. At least probably his third or fourth free throw right here. No good. Got, got a shove in the back. It looks like down underneath on the Knights. Number 15 it looks like. Okay. White bringing it up. Good blow by by White, man. He's quick to the rim and and uh, draws another foul on Knights right here. And I believe uh, you know Minneapolis in the bonus here for the the rest of the uh, the half. What a basketball player! Uh, no yeah. one White has turned into. Absolutely, uh, he's yeah. He, he can slash to the rim. He can shoot from the outside. And, I mean, you can tell. I uh, can tell the other night too, Bill. Just the way he's he's built himself. He's he's spent some time in the weight room. He. He, he looks like a man now. Shooting 87.5% on free throws. Yeah. Yeah, and it seemed like last year he was a lot more timid with the shot, but this year he's, he's kind of letting it fly. Now Heronbrook with the ball up top. Turning the corner, finding Prendergast. Shot no good from the baseline. Gormley on the board. Back into Prendergast. And he gets it in for two. So the Knights create an opportunity on the offensive rebounds. And a frail find a white slash. Reverse layup. Great cut by White and way to find him by Freel right there. Hambrook now slashing. Foul on Davidson. That looks like they call it on two Freel, Bill. Yeah. Oh, ten. Okay. Yep. Yep. Fifteen to twelve. The line now fifteen thirteen. Heron broke good on the on the uh, first free throw. Heron Brook's second free throw is also up and good. Griffin now bringing it up. Finds White in the corner. White with a little bit of stumble, but able to keep control. Back out to Nelson. Nelson drive. Good shot by Nelson. Nelson, good job coming off the bench and, and scoring four points for the Lions so far. 17-14, approaching 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Deflection by the Lions right there out of bounds. Right. Looks like Richards now triggering in for the Knights. Out to Heronbrook. I think they're going to hold it here for the last shot. Out to Richards. Three Big call. Three seconds against the Knights right there. So now it gives the Lions the opportunity to, to hold for the last shot here in the first quarter. Up 17 to 14. Their fourth turnover of the quarter. Minneapolis with two. Griffin bringing it up. Davidson setting up a ball screen for him. Moff. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Back of the finish there by Griffin. Dale. I mean, to, to muscle that thing up over the defense right there and get it to go in. Aaron Brook for three. He got the favorable bounce for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Crawled over that rim. And at the end of one, 19 to 14, Minneapolis. All right. Let's hear who some of our community sponsors are this live video broadcast. 
Vegas, Mexican restaurant, Cisco Gallardo. Alien Body Shop, John Wright. Sorry, Dale. I was I'm used to doing color and stuff. I didn't. It's a great decision. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Scheibler. Yeah, I'll, Terry I'll pick it up then. Schooler Green Company, Rick Hoffman, manager. Sunfire Realty, Mommy Nelson. Got Sacred Heart the scores. Nail Studio with I don't. Um, so I got four. Duffus Property Association, Steve Postline, manager. Yeah, I only add up to 10, but that's all right. Profab Metal Fabrication with Bill Little. Okay, here we go, starting the second quarter. Minneapolis up 19 to 14. 19 to 14, Minneapolis now coming out. Uh, looks like Peachel into the game now. Uh, in the man to man. Say hi, looking to set a ball screen up top. Heronbrook coming off. Minneapolis just switches that and stands still with him. Heronbrook now with it on the wing, dribbling up. Forces a pass inside, Gormley able to track it down and score. A little bit of an ill-advised pass there, and another one there, Griffin with a, a turnover there, sailed way over the head of, of Osherman there. That was a high pass. <laughs> yes, it was. Hit some mustard on that sucker. Now Heronbrook bringing it up. No pressure by the Lions right here. Up by three. We'll dump off to uh, Gormley. Gormley now with the ball screen from Heronbrook. Back to Heronbrook. Dribbling out top. Blows by Osherman. He picks up the foul. Yep. Got by him, and then Osherman come from the backside. And then they're going to get Osherman with the foul. Heronbrook now to, to the line for two. Jonah with his second. Fifth team foul on the Lions. Aaron Brook good on the first free throw there. Of course, he's a very accomplished golfer. But, oh, that's uh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. he, I can't remember where they said he was going to go play golf that day. I want to say KU or something, I thought. Two for two on his free throws there, Aaron Brook. Four straight points for the Knights to open this quarter. Davidson on the wing. Looking to get by Richards there. Good job of spinning, but no, not with the fish, but gets his own rebound and puts it in. Davidson, nice job sticking with the play there and, and getting the put back. I've got that as his first two of the game. Heronbrook now up top. Gets by Griffin. Looks for the dunk down there, but it's deflected. Griffin with it, bringing it up the floor. Looking for the kick out to Peschel. Peschel now with the drive, and he's got, he's got two coming off the bench here. Aaron Brook now up to the wing. Okay. Now Aaron Brook in the, uh, in the corner here. Okay. Now 23, Douglas back to Aaron Brook. Aaron Brook popping one from the corner, and he drains it. Can't do much about that with the... Hand in his in his face, not normally with the uh, with the steal. Okay. Minneapolis up 23-21 with 6-12 left in the second quarter. The subs coming in, looks like 25 printer yes coming in back into the game for for the Knights. Frio back in for Osherman. And Watson coming back in. Herrenbrook up top. White guarding him man to man. Comes off the ball screen. Oh, 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 got to, <laughs> bank was almost open there, Bill, but uh, yeah, good thing uh, spun out of there. Somebody could get ready to make a withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. White bringing it up now. And he pulls up from just inside the three point line, but uh, short on it. Richards with the rebound. Chance to tie or take the lead. Yeah, Knights. Now Heronbrook penetrating, dishing out to Douglas for the jumper. No good off the back heel. Prendergast with the offensive rebound. Heronbrook drives around, gets a two along the baseline. 
And there's one thing Coach Dale can really pick on some of the offensive boards allowed so far by the Lions, but free it back the other way with the, with the stick in for two. Herrenbrook up top. Pendergast with the ball screen. Pendergast now from the top. Drives, kicks it out to Richards. Richards with the shot from the corner. And they take the lead. 26-25 now the Knights. Watson with the drive. Not there, but Freel there for the stick back. Good job by Derek Freel being on that back side. Watson with the drive, and, and as any coach would say, you know, the, the ball's going up from one side. You know, 70% at least of the time that ball's going to go to the other side. So Freel with an and one opportunity here. Lions with the chance to put their lead back up to two points. So the, the Lions with a little bit shorter line up on the uh, floor right now. No good by Freo on the free throw. 0 for 3 at the line for, uh, for Freo tonight. Gormley with the blow by wide open layup uh, for the Knights. Now Pisa with it on the left wing. Back to Frio up top. Frio getting the call from Coach Dale here. Dribble handoff with Watson. Watson picks up his dribble, gets it back to Frio. Frio all the way on the back side to Pisa with the lay-in. Dylan Pisa, excuse me, and now with four points coming off the bench here. Minneapolis man-to-man. -man. Another dribble penetration allowed, and the dunk down to Gormley for the two. Knights back up by one, back and forth here. Now White looking to break down the defense, stops and pops up top. No good, Gormley with the rebound. Gormley back to Gillen. Gillen now on the right wing. Looking for his drive, gets by Watson, and he gets a, gets two. The Knights now with a three-point lead. Watson up to Pichel here. Pichel back to Field. Now looks at White in the corner. White for the three, no good. Gormley with the rebound and a foul on the Lions. I think Pichel with the foul. Oh, they got Field. Okay. Yep. okay. Griffin and uh, and Davidson now coming back into the lineup for Friel and White. Each team now with seven fouls, so we get one on one. So that's going to give uh, you know now Sager Hart in the bonus. Now Gormley to the line for a one on one. Gormley with left hander at the. Apparently, okay. that was just six fouls. No free throws. Okay. Yeah, so due to the... Oh, okay, that's just 16 fouls. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Yep. yep. Okay. Coach Gormley for the Knights putting Buckner back in the lineup with two fouls here. Oh, let's get number three. Yeah, that would be nice. 3.20 to go in the half. We can do it. Harrenburg now dumps it off for Gormley. Gormley now across to Douglas. Douglas looking down for Buckner. Good poke out there by Davidson. Gets the fast break started. Griffin going strong and the way in by Griffin there. Griffin now with six points. Harrenburg now bringing it up for the Knights. Looks down to Gormley. Gormley driving baseline and throws it to the front row. So turnover by the Knights. Minneapolis down by one, now White back in for Nelson. And Watson's in. Watson gonna trigger it in here on the, the sideline. Watson, White, Pichel, Davidson, and Griffin in the game for Minneapolis. White bringing it up. Davidson setting the ball screen up top. White coming off. Shooting that shit, yeah. 
Right, not, not being successful on that pull-up jumper, but finally there, uh, you know, out of the handful, he's, he's uh, shot from up there, but he knocks that one in. Three or four. Yeah. Now Gillen looking for Harrenbrook in the corner. Good closeout defense there. So Harrenbrook couldn't couldn't hit that three, and then he tried to drive and winds up uh, traveling with the ball. Eight turnover on the Knights. Now Richards coming back in for Douglas. Minneapolis with four turnovers. White now bringing it up. Minneapolis by one. Two minutes left. Uh, a little over two minutes left here in the second quarter. Ah, oh. uh, Davidson trying to dribble that thing out a little out of control, and Sarah Hart able to poke that thing out. Now down to Pendergast. Pendergast with the left-handed finish, not there. White with the board up to White. Or Watson to White, excuse me. White with the pull up, but not there. Pendergast with the board. Now to Harrenbrook. Aaron Brooke to Pendergast out, out top. Uh, allowing the blow by there. Pendergast with the layup, but not there. White with the board. White weaving through traffic. Dumps it off for Griffin. Griffin with the pump fake. Back up, but not there. Watson with the tip. But <laughs> gets the old wedge in between the, the rim and the backboard there. It's kind of wedgy. <laughs> now Nelson back in for Pichel. Buckner back in for the Knights. For Prendergast here. Most pos possession error must have been to Minneapolis. We still have the ball. Yep. Griffin in the corner. Drive around that side. No, no good. Foul on the Lions. I think looks like they got uh, they got Gormley on that, Dale. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, just pushed, uh, pushed Watson, and that's the second foul now on Gormley. Watson now to the line. And he hits the first, giving him uh, another shot here. Daniel hitting 88.9% of his free throws. Wow, tonight three for three so far. Now four for four. Okay, Heron Brook bringing it up here. I don't know when I see Minneapolis have two guys shooting over 80%. Yeah, that is that's that is something to have that kind of percentage. Sacred Hall whipping it in to Buckner there and, and uh, drawing the foul. Looks like on Watson. I believe that's his third. Ninth team foul, yes it is. Yep. So Buckner now gonna go to the line here. Cody Rice in for anyway. Buckner with a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, sophomore Kobe Rice into the game. And number 15, Nolan Lassie in for the, uh, the Knights. Buckner good on the first free throw. So it gives him a second one. Buckner's second free throw, also good. Pulls the Knights back within one. Lions bringing it up. White on the left wing. Griffin up top. Davidson trying to seal his man down low, and then that'd be a rival we'll trying to get that third one against Buckner. Davidson with the turn. Oh, wow. Oh, I'll just okay. that. Yeah. Two wins. <laughs> Two wins. Two within a matter of a couple minutes. <laughs> and this is going to go to the Knights. Yeah, so again, goes to the possession arrow, which belongs to the Knights here. Gilliland and, and Gormley back in. Coach Gormley for Knights trying to sub in offense whenever he can or, or defense at any dead ball. 59.8 seconds. Harrenbrook bringing it up. Knights down by one. Pendergast up top. Now the screen, open it up, Harrenbrook in the corner, no good on the three ball. Nelson with the rebound, bringing it up. Looks to Griffin up top. Griffin now with the spin, but not the finish. Davidson with the board, and he finishes. Buckner, they're really thinking about his third foul, so 
he uh, you know was a little light on the contest there and and uh, smartly didn't get his third foul. How many up up by three? Handbook up top. I was kind of looking for that third foul. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? Minneapolis now to, to like a 1 2 2 zone here, matchup zone. Okay. Going way up. Now to Gillen. You got to look for Harrenbrook. There he is in the corner. And he hits it. Ties it up. Heck of a game so far. You know, we're going to go in at halftime. Tied 37 37. 19 points for the, the Lions in the first quarter, 18 in the second quarter. The Knights put up 23 in the second quarter to pull it back even uh, and, and make it 37-37 at the half. Well, we told, we told you at the beginning of the game, sit back and strap yourselves in. It's going to be quite a contest. Absolutely. It has proven itself to be that way. Yep. And you hope in the second half, if you're a Lions fan, that that, uh, that depth just continues to wear on the, the Knights. The, the, you know, the Knights' true threat from the outside, of course, is Heronbrook, and, and he's hit, uh, I believe, two threes so far on the night. Yeah, two threes, so he's leading them from the outside. If you need, you got to find him and make sure he doesn't get any open looks in the second half. While we get our stats ready, we'll let you, we'll let you hear from some of our sponsors. Minneapolis Muffler and Pipe with John Blake. Thanks for being brought to you by CNR Plating in Minneapolis. Kevin Klein and the rest of the crew at CNR Plating proud to support the youth of Minneapolis and all they do. When it's go time, the local pioneer team is with you from the word go every step of the way. With high performing pioneer brand products and local insights, they'll help you choose a lineup of products tailored to your fields and proven just down the road. See Sheldon Doherty at River Hill C about this pioneer brand product. And go Lions. The Lions of Minneapolis High School are proudly supported by the Davidson Agency with offices in Delphus, Minneapolis, and Bennington. As a nationwide insurance agent and also an independent agent, they have provided hometown service for the insurance needs of their customers for over 30 years for home, small business, farm and crop, life and health coverage. Call them today at 785-523-4202. The Bennington State Bank wants to be your hometown bank. With locations in Minneapolis, Bennington, and Salina, they strive to provide hometown relationship banking. We provide both consumer and commercial banking service along with trust and wealth management. Contact us today for all your financial service needs. Go Lions, we're with you all the way. These live video broadcasts are sponsored in part by Chuck's Collision. When the potentially inevitable occurs and your vehicle needs repair for body or glass, remember Chuck's Collision. They'll bring you satisfaction in your automotive restoration needs. Contact Chuck at 785-392-2774. Chuck's Collision is located at 1556 K106 Highway. Pat and Lynette Donovan at Ag by Air have been supporting ag operations in the Minneapolis and Delphus area for over 20 years with prompt, up-to-date, and competitive aerial application service. Ag by Air is located at 974 Highway K106 south of Minneapolis or can be reached at 785-392-3300 for questions on scouting your field, chemical recommendations, or to book your work. Ag by Air, a proud sponsor of the Minneapolis High School Lions. Hometown Outdoor Power with the locations in Minneapolis, Salina, and McPherson has been serving Central Kansas for over 20 years and is the largest power equipment dealer in the area. We strive to be the one-stop shop for all your power equipment needs. We provide full sales, service, and parts supply for your home, ag, or commercial contractor power equipment needs. Ask about our winter service program and go Lions! With locations in Minneapolis and Bennington, Central Valley Ag provides 24-hour pump services at built-in discounts by using your CVA fuel card. We also support ag operations by providing both delivery of lubricants, fuel, and propane. Contact Carl Serene at 785-392-3031 for your ag energy needs. 
So, welcome back to um, Salina, Kansas, Sacred Heart High School as the Minneapolis Lions are tied at half, 37 to 37. By far the closest ball game we've had uh, all year. Good ball game here, and it's back and forth. We had the lead, 19 to 14, outscoring them in the first, and they outscored us in the second, 24 to 18. That gives us the <clears throat> that gives our 20, excuse me, 23, yeah, 23, 23. That gives the uh, score 37 to 37 at the half. Um, as far as scoring for both squads, we'll run through Sacred Heart first. Uh, Jacob Gormley was six. Ethan Buckner with two. Uh, Caleb Gilead with four, Mark Pendergrass with eight, Mason Richards with three, and leading the way, not surprisingly, Tate Herrenbrook with 14. They were eight for nine from the free throw line uh, for <coughs> the first half. For the Minneapolis Lions, scoring-wise, a bunch of guys in the books. Um, Jonah Hoshman with one, uh, Derek Freel with four, Spencer Davidson with four, Dylan Peach with four, John Nelson with four, uh, Daniel Watson with six, Nolan White with eight, <coughs> Caden Griffin with six. 7-11 uh, from the free throw line for the Lions. We do have uh, three kids with some foul issues. Joan Oshman with two, Derek Freel with two, and Daniel Watson with three uh, for Sacred Heart. Uh, Brian uh, Nanandusky, uh, Nalaski, something like that, with two fouls. Uh, Caleb Gilead with two, Ethan Buckner with two, and Jacob Gormley with two. Um, so, uh, you know, kind of even on the foul side. It's going to be a it's going to be a, a dog fight down the stretch, Dale. We hope we can get that third foul on Buckner there. Like the then one quite called. Uh, rebound wise, Minneapolis out rebounded the Knights, 18 to 14, uh, on the strength of 12 defensive rebounds and seven offensive rebounds. Uh, turnover wise, Sacred Heart with eight. The Knights or Minneapolis Lions with five. Um, and our leading score was who again? Was six? Um, eight. eight. Uh, Nolan White had eight, Nolan and White then eight. Daniel and Keaton both had six. Okay. So, well, any other thoughts on the game? No? Well, you know, <clears throat> you're going to have to, you're going to have to figure out a way. And Tate Herrenbrook is a heck of a ball player, and he's going to find a way to score, and he has. You're going to have to somehow, somehow put a body on him or something. Um, they they've done a nice job of moving the ball around. I think yeah, on the offensive side, you know, we've been very fortunate all year to be able to push the ball, and I want to see us push the ball, mm -hmm. but we've got to get into position as well. And, and so far, we've not uh, on a few possessions we have, but uh, we've also given some up on the offensive rebounds. We haven't been real crazy on uh, turnovers. We've only had five to their eight, but uh, been a couple times you kind of wish, oh, just slow down, guys, slow down. But, uh, Overall, goodness, what a heck of an evenly yeah. played game. Yeah, heck of a ball game here tonight. Uh, both ranked teams, um, Sacred Heart, I, I believe. They're nine and yeah. nine. Yeah. Nine and two. Yeah, so tough ball game here and Salina, Kansas, Sacred Heart High School. So I'll give it back to the guys and I'll be back at the league ball game. Thanks, Todd. MHS Lions. Over 100 years, Roberts and Monuments has created everlasting memories for families to share the lives of their loved ones with future generations. Supporting the Lions all the way, Roberts and Monuments. At Hometown Hardware, we proudly support our Minneapolis Lions. Think of us for all your home, farm, or business project needs. As your Who's Are You Hardware dealer, and just ask Ripple dealer, we locally provide the brands and selections that you need for your project. And don't forget the ice cream. The Citizen State Bank and Trust is located in Minneapolis and Delta. Tyler supports the Minneapolis High School Alliance. Contact either Owen Kimball or Jared Smith for all your banking yeah, needs. For your home, personal, business, or trust services, we feature online banking, checking and savings accounts, loans, IRAs, and certificates of deposit to help fulfill your hometown's banking needs. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. The Message of Clothing Company is located in Minneapolis and Salina and designs custom clothing for your team, business, group, or event. The screen printing and embroidery. We feature online design and ordering for your convenience. Contact us at 785-823-7752 
or by email at sales at messageofclothingcompany.com for all your custom clothing printing needs today. Go to Minneapolis Lions. See American Family Insurance Agent Scott Austin for all your insurance coverage under one roof. Scott Austin Agency with locations in Minneapolis and Belleville, proudly supporting the Minneapolis High School Lions. With locations in Minneapolis and Bennington, this is how they to provide 24 hour pump services at built in discount by using your CBA PSR, providing both delivery and lubricant, fuel, and propane. Contact Carl Serene at 785 392 3031 for your ag energy needs. Go, MHS Lions. Okay, Jason, any thoughts on what you saw in the first half? Well, uh, you know, Minneapolis coming out, putting up 37 points again, you know, in the first half. That's, that's about right on their average. On their average pace, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, there, maybe. And so, uh, you know, you, that's good. Uh, you know, you don't like, but you look at the other side, you don't like giving up 37, and, and a lot of that's happened from two guys with Printer Guest and, uh, and Heronbrook, you know, creating things off the dribble, getting penetration against the Lions, and then, you know, finishing or getting the kicks back out. To Heronbrook with the only, you know, I've got him with the only threes on the game. Uh, no made threes by Minneapolis tonight, which is a little bit surprising. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, both teams shooting pretty decent from the line. Uh, uh, you know, Minneapolis cut down the turnovers and, and uh, buckle down on defense and, and keep uh, keep the Knights from penetrating the lane and breaking down the D, and, and they should be just fine. Yeah, probably the only thing that's really kind of surprising to me in Minneapolis' is play in the first half is the lack of the three-point production. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And at times we were just not very good at all on the basket. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Enough to where we got down by three, four points, something like that. Came yeah. back, took the lead again. Yep. Had a, had a few looks at it, and uh, you know, if, you, if Coach Darrow too, I'm sure that he touched on the the amount of offensive rebounds that we gave up uh, to the Knights as well, and, and leading to some second chance points for them uh, to keep them in this ball game as well here. But uh, that, you, you hope that uh, Minneapolis depth and, and the way that they come at you in ways, you hope that wears on the Knights here in the second half. Uh, I don't see them being as deep. I think they played you know seven guys, I believe, so far. So uh, you hope that plays into the, the Minneapolis favor here but uh, come out here in this third quarter and and uh, carry a lead going in the fourth quarter would be huge for the Lions and I think maybe only one of our subs didn't score and that was Kobe Rice but he wasn't in very long yeah he wasn't in there and didn't get much of an opportunity to shoot the ball yet so uh, yeah Pichel coming off scoring four as well as Nelson so uh, yeah contributing to the cause right there was, uh, those two Minneapolis will inbound the ball with the possession arrow to start the half. Tied at 37 with the host Sacred Heart Knights. Looks like Watson, White, Davidson, Osherman, and Griffin, the way that uh, Minneapolis started the game. Now Sacred Heart coming on floor with Gormley, Gilliland, Heronbrook, Buckner, and Prendergast. So matchup of two ranked teams. 16 minutes to settle it. White with the ball. Hand off now to Griffin. Griffin up top. Back to White. Looking for the seal inside the Davidson, but not quite there. And a kick on the Knights. So Minneapolis will retain possession on the baseline. Watson now to throw it in from the baseline. Looking for the lob, but Buckner stepping in the way there and, and deflecting it. Gillen on the level. What the heck of a block by White. <laughs> Watson with the fast break dumps it to Griffin, but not able to, to get control and loses it out of bounds. Save it with the ball back. Now Harrenburg going to bring it up. Harrenburg going to bring it to the right wing. Now back out top. Buckner stepping out and getting it from Herrenbrook. Now the Prendergast. 
Down to Gillen. He's got a lane to drive, and he does. Gillen partially blocked, it looked like. Well, yeah, they're going to give it to Minneapolis. Nolan White was confident it was coming to us. LZ did to sit there and block the lane. Yeah, White bringing it up now. Keep the Knights from getting their hands on it. Oshman coming out, setting the ball screen. White coming off. Now to Griffin. Griffin almost losing the ball. Now to Davidson. Davidson with the drive. Heck of a drive. Not quite able to finish on the left hand. Back in with the board. Clears it to Heronbrook. Heronbrook now up top. Now down in the corner to Gillen. Back with the backdoor cut. Not able to finish. Watson out of Davidson. Davidson bringing it up the floor. Now to White. White with the pull up for three. Yes. And there's the first three ball for the, the Lions on the night by White. Heronbrook with the drive. Dump off the bucker. Blocked from the backside by White. But they're going to get in for the foul. Buckner now going to go to the line for two. What do you hear? Logan. What do you hear? Logan. So Buckner to the line, the 6'4 senior. And that's the first on White tonight, first personal foul. Buckner no good on the first. Minneapolis up by three. Frio and Nelson now back in for Watson and Osherman. Buckner's second free throw. It's up and good. Pulls a nice back within two. Friel out to Griffin in the corner. Griffin looking to give back to Friel. Not quite there. Now dribbles it off the foot of the night of Gormley. Gormley kicks it out of bounds. So Lions will trigger it from the sideline. Friel now looking for a teammate to get it into. Lobs it out to Griffin up top. Griffin now oh, almost not quite the angle to get it down to Davidson underneath to, to let him go to the to the rim. Now Gillen out to the right wing. Looking across to Gormley. Gormley for three. He's got it. So now the Knights pulled back ahead by one. Now Griffin on the left wing up top to Nelson. Nelson now with the drive. Great job by John Nelson. Good aggressiveness coming off the bench again. Creating things. Drawing a foul now on Gillen. Now Watson coming back into the game. Along with Richards for the Knights. Griffin coming out. Along with Gillen. Gillen now has three fouls for the Knights. Now they found White in the corner on the inbounds play. White triggers, but not there. Heronbrook with the rebound. Heronbrook looking up the floor. Dribble between his legs. Gets by White. Dumped down to Buckner again. Buckner with the finish. Heronbrook creating a lot off of his dribble and his drives. Now the Knights up by three. Nelson with the dump down. Down to Davidson. Davidson partially blocked. Up to White. White with the with the 12 footer finishes. So Minneapolis now down by one. Coach Darrow takes a timeout. And we'll take a timeout with him here. Words from our sponsors. When it's go time, your local pioneer team is with you from the word go every step of the way. With high performing pioneer brand products and local insights. They'll help you choose a lineup of products over to your fields and prove them just down the road. See Sheldon Doherty at River Hill C about those Pioneer brand products. And go Lions! The Citizen State Bank and Trust with locations in Minneapolis and Delta proudly support the Minneapolis High School Lions. Contact either Owen Kendall or Jared Schmidt for all your banking needs. Be it home, personal, business, or trust services. We feature online banking. Checking and savings accounts, loans, IRAs, and certificates of deposit to help fulfill your hometown banking need. Welcome back. Oh. Okay. Knights looking for the high low feed right there from Buckner to Pendergast, but uh, goes out of bounds. 
Minneapolis adjusting that time, going to a 1-2-2 zone right there uh, out of the timeout by Coach Darrell. Watson now going to bring it up for the Lions down the right side. Up to Davidson up top, looking for the ball screen. Now with the drive down to Watson, and he travels in the corner. Turnover by the Lions. Buckner again gets it into Harrenbrook. Harrenbrook now bringing it up between his legs up top. Looks like Minneapolis still in that 1-2-2 two, two matchup zone here. Harrenbrook in the corner, looking at the three at first, but not quite there. Dumps it down to Richards in the corner, short corner. Richards in a bit of trouble. Throws up. Oh, oh, no foul. Watson gets laid out, but no no call. And they get Gormley on the uh, on the charge right there. Oshman stepping in, taking the charge. Foul on Gormley. Minneapolis down by one. Now Griffin coming back in for. Field. Okay, that'd be that's the third foul now on Gormley. So now 35, number 35, Disburger now comes back in. He comes in for Gormley. I shouldn't say come back in. That's a, this is his first action of the night. White's gonna bring it up now for the Lions. So you are still in a man-to-man. -man. Oshman with the ball screen up top, rolls to the hole, now dumps it off to Davidson. Davidson behind his back, pull up jumper, good. Great ball handling there, Spencer Davidson with the second field goal of the night, now with four points. Heron Brook now up top, looking for Richards. Prendergast trying to seal Davidson down low, Heron Brook with the flash across, his turnaround is good. And it looks like Knights are now going to take a full timeout. Well, with uh, 3.47 left to go in the third, Knights up by one, 45 to 44. The Venetian State Bank wants to be your hometown bank. The location is in Minneapolis, Venetian, Swanee. The site provides hometown relationship banking. We provide both consumer and commercial banking service along with trust and wealth management. Contact us today for all your financial service needs. Go Lions. We're with you all the way. For over 100 years, Robertson Monuments has created everlasting memories for families to share the lives of their loved ones with future generations. Supporting the Lions all the way, Robertson Monuments. Hometown Outdoor Power with the locations in Minneapolis, Salina, and McPherson has been serving Central Kansas for over 20 years and is the largest power equipment dealer in the area. We strive to be the one-stop shop for all your power equipment needs. We provide full sales, service, and parts supply for your home, ag, or commercial contractor power equipment needs. Ask about our winter service program and go Lions! Uh, back here at Sacred Heart High School, 45-44, the Knights, 3.47 left third quarter, and Dale, this is a you know, uh, position that Minneapolis has not found themselves in, you know, late in the third quarter by any means so far this year, so we'll see how it goes. Watson with the drive and the answer on the right side for two. Harrenbrook now, right wing gets a ball screen, Griffin on defense. Richards now, back to Harrenbrook in the corner. Harrenbrook with the pull up. Bates on oh, the back side with the rebound. Oh. Davidson now scanning the floor as he brings the ball up the floor. Friel with the drive on the baseline. Davidson now for three. Yes. Woo! Davidson now feeling it. Now all of a sudden five quick points by Davidson now puts the, uh, the Lions back up by four, 49-45. And they don't expect to see him shooting threes. Yeah, absolutely. But he can definitely knock it down. Buckner out to Harrenbrook. Harrenbrook for the three. Short. Buckner with the rebound now. Harrenbrook now with the drive, and they're going to get Griffin with the foul. So Harrenbrook will go to the line for two, and pull him back within two. Harrenbrook on the night, four for four from the line. I've got him with 14 points so far. Yeah, that's where he had in the first half. Okay. Harrenbrook good on the first free throw. 
So he must have, yeah, he must have two more now because he had that pull up. I, I missed two for him. That's, okay. I knew I was short somewhere. That must have been where it was. Hammerick's second free throw up, and it's also good. So pulls the nice back within two. Nelson now back into the game, up top to Griffin. To Davidson, left wing, looking for Nelson on the baseline, not there. Freo now setting the ball screen, White for three up at the top, not there. Harrenbrook with the board. Now looks up the floor to Pendergast, wide open. And he stuffs it. Pendergast for two, now pulls the Knights even with the Lions. Griffin now down the floor, forces one up. Harrenbrook with the rebound. Harrenbrook bringing it up. He drives, dumps it off. And he finds this for two. So just like that, Knights back up, up by two. They were down by four, 6-0 run. Now they're back up by two. Davidson up top, off the ball screen by Freel, drives the right side of the lane and draws the foul. Should be on Prendergast. Uh, no, it was 35. Either, either Prendergast or Disburger. Let's see who they got it. Up oh, 25 printer, yes, they're calling it. And that's his first. Oh, okay. Yep. 35 just got his nose. Uh, yeah. Got a little bit. I don't want to say broken, but uh, yeah. that's why I figured it was on him. He was the one that provided it. Yeah. I knew he was on the backside there, Dale, and printer guest was right there with him. And yeah, it just a matter of which one they were going to get. So number 23 now comes in for the, the Knights, Douglas. Watson back in for free for the Lions. So Davidson's is going to go to the line, try and pull the Lions back, back uh, into a tie with the Knights. 154 left in the third quarter. Davidson's first free throw, too strong. Second free throw is too short. So, Knights got it, bringing it down the floor, Harrenbrook up top, comes off the ball screen, looking for the three, not quite there, down to Douglas, Douglas works it back up top, and it's over by the Knights. Now, Osherman's going to check back in the game for Davidson, Davidson getting a, a well-needed breather there, looks like he was a little gassed, so give him a breather and get him ready for the fourth quarter. 1.35 to go here in the third quarter. Unlock the ball screen from Osherman. White with the kick out to Nelson. Nelson with the three, too strong. Harrenbrook on the backside with the rebound. Harrenbrook bringing it up the floor. Dumps it to Buckner in the high post. He gets a high low action with Prendergast. Prendergast puts it in. Prendergast with a big night for the night so far. Griffin back on the road. Oh, yeah. A circus shot puts that. Puts the ball in the hole, Griffin, with an and one opportunity. What a shot. Yes. I tell you, just, just like all years, you, you go down to put uh, two points on your paper, your stat sheet, and the Lions are back on the other end shooting. Griffin misses the and one opportunity, so Lions down by two, 53-51, with a minute left to go in the third quarter. Harrenbrook up top. Drills. Watson almost there for the steal. Harrenbrook up top now to Douglas. Down to Buckner. Griffin with the deflection and the steal. Now he's going to race it up the floor. Looking up. Dumps it off for White. White now triggers a three. It's good. Much needed for the Lions there. Nolan White with his second three of the night. Pulls the lines ahead by one. Now 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Buckner now in the high post. Over to Pendergast. Pendergast. Can't believe it. No good. Yeah. Call sure. Yeah. Up to White for the Lions. Ah. Loses it. Harrenbrook now racing the other way. Griffin had the angle. Ah. And that's uh, you know that, that that's the kind of opportunity right there. If you're if you're Griffin, if you're gonna. If you're going to contest that, you make sure that he doesn't get that thing up on the glass and, and get a three-point play out of it. But Harrenbrook able to get it up off the glass and get an on and one opportunity.
Knights up by one, 14 seconds left. Harrenbrook to the line where he has been perfect on the night. Six for six. Takes a deep breath and he knocks in his, his seventh free throw of the night. 14 seconds in the quarter, lines down by two. That Sager Hart's 56-54, Watson racing it up. Now 10 seconds left, dumped down to Davidson. Looks back out to Watson. Watson up to Friel, now three seconds left. Got to get it up, Davidson with the three up top. Oh! <laughs> wow. <Almost. laughs> so, Lions, like I said, haven't been in this situation all year. We'll see what they're made of. They're down by two going into the fourth quarter. 56-54, the Knights head into the fourth quarter. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. These live video broadcasts are sponsored in part by Chuck's Collision. When the potentially inevitable occurs and your vehicle needs repair for body or glass, remember Chuck's Collision. They'll bring you satisfaction in your automotive restoration needs. Contact Chuck at 785-392-2774. Chuck's Collision is located at 1556 K106 Highway. Brought to you by CNR Plating in Minneapolis. Kevin Klein and the rest of the crew at CNR Plating proud to support the youth of Minneapolis and all they do. Well, in a very evenly played game here so far, the Knights outscores 19-17 in that half quarter. Uh, rebound wise, they are ahead of us in the second quarter or the second half, eight to five, and uh, they have five. Turnover star three, so pretty close. And I, I sure don't remember Dale either team being up by more than four points. Yeah, that's been about it. It has been, you know, make a run and then the other team makes a run, just kind of back and forth. A heck of a lot of lead changes here, and, and uh, the you know, first few minutes are going to be huge here for this fourth quarter. Two point game, Knights up by two. Harrenbrook up top to Gormley. Gormley back to Harrenbrook. Now to Gilliland. Going look to, looking to turn the corner. Now gets it to Harrenbrook. Prendergast trying to seal down low. Whips it across. Griffin. Oh, my. Chases it down. Bats it up. But White not quite able to, tra to track it down there. Harrenbrook now back the other way. Pulls up. Hits it. Harrenbrook with another two up by Adam for 23 now on the night. Davidson now on the left wing. Comes off the ball screen by Osherman. Osherman will... Er, Excuse me, Davidson with the pull up for two. So Knights up by two, Gormley now back to Harrenbrook. Harrenbrook back to Gormley. Gormley now caught in the corner, picked up his drill, finds Harrenbrook on the opposite side. He missed. His shot no good. Davidson bringing it up the floor. Davidson now with the drive, finds White in the corner, wide open for three, but he can't hit. Davidson with the rebound, though, and he can't hit. And they're going to get, looks like Derek Friel on the backside with the push in the back on the offensive rebound. Third on Derek. Each squad with four fouls now. So 58-56. Save it hard with 6.45 left. Now Gillen bringing it up. Nice trying to hide Harrenbrook in the corner. Harrenbrook now with the dump down to Prendergast. Osherman with the steal. Friel now racing it up ahead. Three on two situation for the Lions. White with the Euro step, got caught in the air. Friel with the putback. Great play there, great stick back by Friel to now tie it up with 6.20 left. Gillen now looking to penetrate, looks at Harrenbrook backside wide open but can't make it. Osherman and Harrenbrook fighting for the rebound. And they're going to call Osherman over the back. And I have to say I do not agree. You know, both two, both both were fighting for the ball right there. Both had hands on the ball. I didn't see much contact there. And we would like to see that go to a jump ball, which would have went to the Lions. But that's going to be the third foul on Osherman. Was that on a rebound? Yeah. Okay. So Harrenbrook going to trigger it in. Knight's going to look for him back in the corner. But Minneapolis has it covered. Now the dump down to Buckner. Buckner lays it in. Might have got away with a the travel there. 
Davidson now trying to drive. Kicks it out to Watson for three. Watson no good. Osterman now with his fourth foul. So big fourth foul on Osterman, one of the one of the best rebounders for, for Minneapolis. So Knights up by two, 60 to 58, just under six minutes to go. And Knights moving Herrenbrook off of the off of the point. Now they're running around the baseline. Gormley now wide open for three in the corner. He's got it. Watson now bringing it up for the Lions. Back to Griffin. Griffin with the penetration, and he draws a foul. We'll see who. 21, number 21, Richards with the foul for the Knights. Biggest lead of the game now for the squad, five points. Yeah, five points, 63-58. Davidson now gets in the middle, now out to Griffin. Poked away by Gorman. So now Minneapolis going to get the ball here in the corner. Lions now setting up in a box set. Griffin to the corner. Get it into him. Looking up to White up top. White's got it. White with the penetration. A little off balance. And Watson crashing the boards from the backside. And uh, able to draw over, over the back call on Gormley, which I believe that would be his fourth. So as Dale said, Knights up by five. Biggest lead of the night by either team. 16 fouls apiece now. Those squads. Frio triggers it in to Griffin up top. Or in the, the right corner, excuse me. Davidson up top. Looking at the three at first. Drives. Oh, they call the charge. They call the charge on Davidson there by the printer desk. Draws the charge on Davidson. It, Sure didn't look like there was much there, but that they, the referee calls the charge. 63-58. Penetrates, trying to get it to Buckner down low, but the line's poking away. Now White bringing it back the other way to Friel. Friel with the jumper. No good. Gillen, Friel steps in and puts it in. Good job by Derek Friel to find the opportunity to come back, get the steal, and to put it in. Now the nice by three. Four and a half minutes left. Gillen. Freel with another steal. And the breakaway. And he lays it in. Freel with two big buckets now to bring Minneapolis back with their one, just like all night. One team stretches a little bit ahead, the other team comes back. Harrenbrook bringing it up. Now on the left wing. Now looking for the lob to Buckner. He gets it. He whips it out to Prendergast. Prendergast tracks it down. Now the steal by Freel. Friel again to the ball. Oh, oh, Minneapolis now back up by one. Three now, straight steals, three straight baskets by Derek. Yeah, Derek Friel coming up big right there with his. Now Derek Friel, I've got him for 12 points on the night. And had six big ones here within the last minute to pull Minneapolis back up by one with 3.58 left. Wow. Yeah, and now and now for Minneapolis, you know, keep keep don't, fighting. Don't get up and go to the bathroom, folks. Don't yeah. Give up. Yeah. All the snacks in front of you need. You they can't go to the refrigerator. Three fifty eight left in the fourth. <laughs> Your lines roaring back ahead by one. Very entertaining game to this point. Back and forth, 64-63 Lions, and and now uh, you know Knights are going to trigger it in. You know, it's, it's all going to flow through Heronbrook. Heronbrook's going to look to dump it down to Buckner. So uh, if you're Minneapolis, you want to get it out of Heronbrook's hands as, as much as you can because he makes them flow. So uh, you know Coach Joe's probably going to throw a little something different at him to try and keep it out of Heronbrook's hands and and uh, and make somebody else make a play for the Knights. I mean, we've had 
at least four steals there in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, nice uh, getting sloppy with the ball. To yep. get that turned around. Absolutely. And, it, and, it, and you know, maybe you could tell they were, they were trying to go to a lot of high-low sets, dump it down from the high post down to the low post, and they started really sitting on that and able to get a couple of steals out of that and deflections. So, uh, you know, Sacred Heart now, you know, putting Heronbrook down into the corner, Buckner down low, and Gillen's now going to bring it up. Going on the left wing to Prendergast, now to Heronbrook. Buckner now in the post, kicks out to Richards. Richards back, and they're going to get Davidson on the reach in. 1 1. So, yeah, yeah, now uh, this game could be decided at the free throw line. Absolutely. Here in the closing minutes. Which you would think would bode well for the Lions. You know, of course, for Sager Hart, you put Heronbrook on the line, you can probably chalk two up. No problem there. Buckner's first free throw is good. Buckner now with with nine points. Or excuse me, eight points. Buckner second free throw, no good. Davidson with the rebound. So we're all tied up with 3.40 left, but Minneapolis throws it away. Gillen with the steal. Gillen bring it up, gets by Osherman. Pulls up, back to Heronbrook for three, he's got it. Watson racing it up. Knights by three on the big, big three by Heronbrook. Griffin now with the drive. Griffin with the pull up, no good. Going for the rebound, not, can't get it. Gillen. Poked out by Minneapolis, they say. Gillen, you know, trying to dribble through, and it looks like Osherman didn't, uh, didn't react like you know like it should have been off of the off of the night. So the night's going to trigger it in with Buckner. It's a Pendergast. Back to Buckner. Buckner now racing it up the floor. Now to Gillen to Pendergast. Heronbrook again for three. No good. White with the board. White looking over to Friel. Friel back to White. And I think you want to. Friel now for three. No good. Buckner with the rebound. Heronbrook up the right side. Turns the corner. Friel with a good, good steal from the back side. Stepping in on help defense. Friel now with the push. Out to Watson. Watson with the jumper. Good. Is that a deuce? Yep, that's a two. So Minneapolis back within one. 227 left. Heronbrook with the ball up top. Heronbrook dribbling around up top. He's going to drive. He's going to throw a float, put it up, and it's in. So Heronbrook going to go to the line for an and one opportunity. Nolan White with his second. Ninth team foul on the line. Dangerous are close putting the Knights. Yeah. Knights in the double bonus here. 28 points for Heronbrook on the night. Looking for his 29th, and I, I was talking to somebody earlier, Dale, like, you know, if he gets about 30, then they're going to be right in the middle of this, and sure enough, he's at 29. So White bringing up the floor. Now, Sager up 70 to 66 with just a little over two minutes left. Griffin with the drive. Okay, and Griffin gets the, gets the foul call. Now, he'll go to line for two. And that crucial seventh foul, so Minneapolis will be in the one on one from here on. Griffin to the line, that foul was on Buckner, that's his fourth. Griffin no good on his first first free throw. Griffin's second free throw. Is up and good. Bringing Minneapolis to within three. Three timeouts left for the Knights, four for the Lions. Knights by three. Heronbrook in, in no hurry. Going to milk some clock here as much as he can. Now the five second call enacted. Back to Buckner. Back to Gillen. Back to Buckner. Finds Prendergast in the high post. Prendergast with the ball. 
Lions racing it back down. Got to score quickly. They're down by five. Minute and a half left. Frio with the pull up. No good. Austin will try and see the rebound. How can be no foul there? They get Jonah. Yep. Austin getting the getting the foul call. Incredible. Incredible. And the handbook for line for two. So, Osherman's going to foul out. Osherman with only, I've got him with only one point. One for two from the free throw line. No field goals tonight. So, Sager held up 72 to 67 with 128 left in the fourth quarter. Harrenbrook at the line. He missed. This is his free throw. He's human. But, unfortunately, he gets there in the double bonus, so he gets two free throws. Harrenbrook's second free throw. Up and good. Minneapolis racing it up the floor. Coach Dale going to call timeout, so... Sager Hart with the biggest lead of the night, up by six, 73 to 67 with a minute 25 left. So Minneapolis in a bit of dire straits here. Need to, need, to, need to make a big play on offense and then get some stops on defense. Defense is stopped, yep. We'll be right back after the fourth more sponsors. At Hometown Hardware, we probably support our Minneapolis line. Think of us for all your home, farm, or business project needs. As a two value hardware dealer, and just ask Sprinkle Dealer, we locally provide the brands and selections that you need for your project. And don't forget the ice cream. The Lions of Minneapolis High School are proudly supported by the Davidson Agency, with offices in Delphus, Minneapolis, and Bennington. As a nationwide insurance agent and also an independent True. agent, they have provided hometown service for the insurance needs of their customers for over 30 years. For home, small business, farm and crop, Life and health coverage. Call in today at 785-523-4202. Pat and Lynette Donovan at Ag by Air have been in the area for over 20 years with prompt, up-to-date, and competitive aerial application service. Ag by Air is located at 974 Highway K106, south of Minneapolis. Minneapolis down by six. Trigger and inbounds. Noah White with the ball up top. Coming upon a minute 20 left. Minneapolis not, can't take a lot of time here. Now looking for White on the back side. Steps on the sideline. Turnover by Minneapolis. 1.15 now left in the game. Sager Road up by six. So now Minneapolis going to go to a full out. Face denial here. Try not let the ball in into the inbounds. Lysel with the lob over the top to Harrenbrook. Harrenbrook looks up to Buckner. Buckner up to Gillen. Gillen over to Gormley. Gormley down to Buckner. Buckner's going to put it in for two. So, Knights up by eight, under a minute left. White for three, no good. Gillen with the rebound. Gillen going to race it up the floor. Gillen over to Gormley. Minneapolis in a foul situation, but Gormley just takes it to the, to the rim and he'll put it in. Knights by 10, 40 seconds left. So, looks like Sager Hunt's going to win the battle of the, the ranked teams, but Nolan White with a drive to the bucket and he'll put it in for two and get an and one opportunity. So, 77 to 69. Knights, 34 seconds left. White to the to the line for an and one. Fifth foul on Buckner. Yep, Buckner's out. Penner is going to check in for him. Buckner leaves with 11 points. I've got him for tonight, mostly on dump downs from and setups by Heronbrook. 
wide at the free throw line. Bends his knees and puts it in. So Nolan with the three-point play to bring Minneapolis back within seven. 34 ticks left on the clock in this fourth quarter. I got 19 points for Nolan White on the night. Gillen back to Gormley. So Griffin fouls him. Gormley's going to go to the free throw line for two points because the Knights are in the double bonus. Or two free throws, excuse me. Let's hope no points. Yes. <laughs> that would be nice. And a quick score by the Lions. So Gormley steps to the line for two. He's hit a couple big three-pointers uh, on the game. That's for sure. Uh, uh, the coach's, coach's one son. Those, one of those no-pointers. There we go. 14 points on the night for Gormley. Gormley's second free throw up and no good. David Davis just what the doctor ordered for the Lions right there. But almost a turnover by Lions. White tracks it down. Looks down to Friel. Friel collects it. Oh. Can't quite put it in. Watson now tracks it down. Now under 20 seconds left. And now we got a jump ball. And it's going to go to the Lions. So Lions will, will throw the ball in from the baseline. 77 to 70. Sager Hart, 16 seconds left. So Minneapolis circling around, finding Griffin in the middle, can't quite collect it, finds White cutting to the basket, yes. White's got it up, and another and one opportunity. So Noah White making it interesting, that now with uh, 21 points for him, looking for his 22nd. So, Noah White with a missed free throw. Going with the pass now with the foul. So, 10 seconds left. Sager Hart up 77 to 72. And barring a miracle, the, uh, the Lions are going to have their first taste of defeat on the season here. So, Gormley back to the line, who just missed two free throws. And he misses another. Gormley 0 for 4 on the night from the free throw line. Make it 0 for 5. Ah, but Gillen tracks down the rebound and he'll bring it out. And another foul on the Lions now with 7.4 seconds left in the game. 77-72 Knights. So, Minneapolis, first loss of the season, you, you know, go back to the, you know, don't, don't exactly go, you, you know, you, now you have the Christmas break, you can work on some things if you coach Darrell, you know, I would think one of those things would be the, you know, defense, stopping dribble penetration, cutting that off more, and not letting them break down your defense so much, uh, that's kind of been, you know, the way other teams have, have been able to rack some points up against the uh, the Lions. And when you get a guard by Karen Brook against you, you can take good advantage of that. White now with a long three. No good, and that's going to bring an end to it. So, Sager Hart, the number nine ranked team in 2A, uh, pulls off the uh, the win here, 77-72 to 72 over the eighth ranked 3A Lions. Uh, so, two of the... Two of the three A ranked teams in the league they all in with a, a loss this week. Beloit losing the number one team, losing on Tuesday night, and now the ranked team. Quite the game. Seventy-seven, seventy-two. The Knights. And uh, you know, Minneapolis insisting all night with you know 17, 18, and 19 in, in the quarters there, a couple of 18 and a 17 and a 19. But uh, uh, you know, score 72 points in high school basketball, you'd think you'd usually win the game. But we're, uh, we're staying, we're staying out. <laughs> we still have not scored less than 70 points. Yeah, on the season. Incredible. Yeah, and uh, but unfortunately the. The Knights able to pull off a couple of 20 po 20 plus point quarters with 23 in the second quarter and 21 in the fourth quarter, 
uh, for a big difference there. And that one, you know, won the second quarter by five, 23 to 18, and wind up winning the game by five, 77 to 72. Quite the Donnybrook. Quite the Donnybrook. Well, thank you so much. You betcha. You for you betcha, us sir. No problem. And, yeah, we'll look forward to, to teeing this thing back up in when we will play them again, February probably. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, out in there, get Beloit as well. And whoever we run into at Halstead or, you know, southeast of Slane will be no slaps. So. That's for sure. Yeah. So. I think we go to, what, Republic County? Yeah, coming out of break, coming I believe break. that's right. Yep, on January 3rd, I believe. It won't so. be an easy one by any means. Absolutely. So, yep, a lot of work to do over Christmas break, but got a lot of pieces, and hopefully we can make a good run. Well, thank you so you much. Bet. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dale. We'll see you. Appreciate it. You too, sir. We'll get this closed out here with the final stats in a minute. Or can be reached at 785-392-3300. Questions on scouting your fields, chemical recommendations, or to book your work. Ag by Air, a proud sponsor of the Minneapolis High School Lions. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. See American Family Insurance Agent Scott Osherman for all your insurance coverage under one roof. The Scott Osherman Agency with locations in Minneapolis and Belleville proudly supporting the Minneapolis High School Lions. The Messenger Clothing Company with locations in Minneapolis and Salina can design custom clothing for your team, business, group, or event with screen printing and embroidery. We feature online design and ordering for your convenience. Contact us at 785-823-7752 or by email at sales at messengerclothingcompany.com for all your custom clothing printing needs today. Go Minneapolis Lions! Well, folks, this game is over. Quite the game to watch. Uh, yeah, a uh, good ball game. Two good teams, two very good teams. Just very frustrating. But, um, we'll get another shot at them. Yeah, we will. We will. So scoring wise for the Sacred Heart Knights, uh, let's go by quarters. We were up 19-14 after in the one, tied up at 37 at the end of two. They were up 56-54 at the end of three, and they outscored us in the fourth quarter, 21-18 to give them the lead, 77-22 for the win. Uh, scoring wise, uh, Jacob Gormley had 14, Ethan Buckner had 10, four by Caleb Gilead, 14 by Mason Richards, and 30 points by Tate Herrenbrook. Uh, Tate Herrenbrook's a great ball player, but he gets away with some calls, but no well. Um, kind of goes with it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Um, scoring loss for Minneapolis line. Uh, they were they were ended up seven for sixteen for the free throw line, fifteen for twenty five. That for really Bradley. surprises yeah. me how poor they were at the free throw line. Well, with the exception of Tate Harrenburg. Yeah. yeah. Um, John Nelson had four. John Oshman had one. That's a big one right there. Yeah. Dylan Pichel had four, um, and then we had four. Uh, Caden Griffin had nine. Uh, Ten by Daniel Watson. Eleven by Spencer Davidson. Uh, 12 by Derek Frios. We did have three, four uh, double figures, and Nolan White led the way with 21 points. Hats off to Derek Frio. Derek got us back into that oh, yeah. um, and played his heart out, so hats off to Derek Frio. No doubt about that. They uh, yeah, rebound the Knights 33-30, to 30, uh, they have, but in the second half, they out rebounded us 16-15. to 15. Uh, One thing that just surprised me, turnovers... They had 19, we had 11. Both halves, they had more turnovers than we did, and still somehow they ended up winning the game. So that, that was a very much a shocker to me. Yeah. Uh, we have not scored less than 70 points throughout this season so far in six games, which is just <coughs> astonishing. Yeah. Uh, okay, our play of the game is going to be sponsored by the Messenger Clothing Company. And I'm going to go with uh, three straight steals and yeah, absolutely. buckets by Derek Friel at about 358 in the uh, fourth quarter, I think is the way I have yep, it marked. Yep. He brought the Lions back when we were down, and we couldn't quite sustain that, but 
Boy sure got it back back in there. And uh, for the player of the game, brought to you by the Davidson Agency, we're going to go with Nolan White with 21 points. Uh, a lot of athletic moves in there. He, I don't know how many steals he had, but he's in on several. Uh, he's just playing with a lot of confidence mm-hmm. as a basketball yeah, player. He, he is, is really he is. grown. I mean, we. I remember seeing him in, in uh, freshman year. They started coming off the bench late in the season in some JV games. And we were going, wow, who's this guy? And then last year he started to get a little more confident. He's, he's playing out there like a seasoned pro uh, right now. I shouldn't say pro, but uh, he's a seasoned basketball yeah. player. Yeah. He is. Uh, we, I think probably what hurt us as much as anything in the second half is our shooting percentage went down. We mm-hmm. weren't we weren't getting the buckets we, we were we in the first half, and that that ended up doing us in. But well, we'll be going to Republic County, I believe, on January third, folks. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Two losses for the Lions, so two lumps of coal. Uh, yep. Coming from Santa here yeah. tonight, but uh, things be an exciting season. Yeah, it is. It is. Cigar's so a good team. They're oh, a good team. yeah. They're a good Goodness team. gracious. So, okay. Thanks. Thank you, Dale. Dale Leach and Scott, Scott Osherman. Jason Kozar going to sign off. Thanks a lot and Merry Christmas, folks. <laughs>